everybody, this is the planet Earth here. I know the quality looks weird. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about a my anxiety disorder and it's really bad right now. My blood pressure earlier in the morning, it was 200, it's really high, 200 over 107. Um, it went down after about three hours because I was having a full-blown panic attack and I froze and I just cried in bed for three hours straight which my first panic attack in months I really didn't care that I was having it but my heart rate was going so fast that uh, I, I I couldn't I really couldn't think I couldn't breathe my blood pressure, you know, my diastolic is running high because I'm overweight. And I really need to get that addressed and situated immediately. But my diastolic uh, blood pressure was really high more than, I mean, it was high. And my diastolic seems to run high when I'm anxious, but not when I'm calm. When I am calm, my diastolic will be as low as, I don't know, the lowest I've seen it, just sitting down in a very comfortable position in the middle of the night in a very calming situation where nobody's fighting and stuff like that and no one's arguing about nothing or no one's fighting or no one's doing anything I've seen my diastolic even as fat as I am as low as 78 and 76 but when I'm anxious that thing runs high and uh, I don't really care as much as I used to about it but it's concerning because all that extra pressure on the heart is not good for me but at the same time I've just been mainly laying in my bedroom for this whole time cuz I, I I don't even I, because of my anxiety I have not been myself lately I've I've pretty much been spaced out I haven't been able to to think lately and and that's even with you know minimal amounts of Ativan and and, and it's not the benzodiazepine anymore because I don't care about the withdrawal effects anymore as long as I get a dosing I guess it, as long as it works that's all I care because I have really 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 bad panic attacks and my panic attacks have been unbelievable especially the one I had and it's over because of what's happening to me lately and I don't want to talk about what's happening um, it, it's just a lot of drama that's going on and it scares the hell out of me because it, it, it just does and my stress level is insane my supposed girlfriend doesn't get the picture she doesn't just seem to get the picture and actually care about me she says she cares about me, but she doesn't really care about me. She she just doesn't care about me, or at least I don't think she does, because she's always bitching about everything, and she just... Oops. I always do that to the horn. I don't know why I do that so much with the horn. You can hear it on every video. I do it at least once. She bitches about everything, and, and it's just hard for me to... To, I don't I don't know how to say it it is just hard for me to cope I know that sounds weird but it's hard for me to cope you know it's it's hard for me to cope sometimes and it's sad but it's true so, you know sometimes I just cannot I can't cope with my anxiety I I I'm getting to the point where I'm not even leaving the house I'm, every time I have to leave the house, I'm full of terror in my, my, my body. And I never used to get that. Now I'm getting that. But it's getting so bad that I become depressed. Like, not, yeah, I become very depressed. And, uh, it hurts because at one point in my life, when I had all my family members, I was okay. At one point in my life at one point it was years ago before I 
before I even, I mean, it was before 2007, I was okay, if that makes any sense. But now, I live in society where mentally ill get made fun of, and I live in a society where, for some reason, my body reacts violently to everything bad that happens to me, whether it be financially, whether it not be financially, whether it be anything stupid. Anything stupid, my body reacts really violently to it. But I don't know why. And it happens every day with me. And I don't know how to cope. Because when my medicine wears off, I can't cope anymore. I can't, I won't leave, I won't even leave the house if I don't have my medicine. And even when I do have my medicine, I still have a hard time uh, concentrating. I have a hard time thinking clearly. I have a hard time just anything to do with me, okay? I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know what to do anymore. All I know is that sometimes in life, when a curveball is being thrown at you, man, is a curveball being thrown at me. I get into a situation where I can't get myself out of. If that makes any sense. Hey, my vision's improving. Weird. Hmm. That's weird. Weird. But my vision seems to be improving. It was getting worse. Now it's getting better. That's weird. Yeah, I don't see the signs anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I don't know what to do anymore. I just don't know what to do. And nobody is guiding me on what to do. I don't have any help from anybody for mental uh, comfort. And I could try doing everything. I could try exercise. It just a, it's a never ending hellhole that with my own brain that I could cause so much severe stress that I can cause myself to have a three hour panic attack. And it, it doesn't make any sense to me, but it happens, but it doesn't make sense to me. And for some reason, my luck seems to just go bad. One thing hits me and then another thing hits me and then another thing hits me, but nothing good ever happens to me. I have noticed that trend. Nothing good ever actually happens to me. With my luck, it's always something stupid, something bad, something minute, but it's something major at the same time. I don't understand it. It's hard to explain why all the time I go through all this bullshit. Why is it always me, is what I ask myself. And I tell myself, what did I do wrong? At what point did I turn sour? What point did I become an anxiety bedridden person? At what point did I not get on with my life? At what point did my body determine that it would prevail on me for no reason? And then I realized my childhood was so bad, which is weird because some childhoods can be really bad and people have a good life. But for some people like me, the childhood ruined my life. I hardly have any good moments anymore. I mean, it's getting to the point where I make YouTube videos. I try to put a smile on for you guys, or but it's not real. I don't like hiding my true feelings, but it's hard when you have people who use you and take advantage of your kindness, which I have somehow still. And they use you. I have so many negative thoughts all the time. So many problems with negative thinking. That I have become to the point where... That I don't even want to think anymore. And it's difficult to think like that. But... I don't get any joy out of anything anymore. Not even, not even, uh, not even women. 
I don't get joy out of women anymore. I used to, but not anymore. Like, I don't want to be around them. It's, it's, I don't need... I mean, I want to be around them, but... I don't feel that... I need a girlfriend. If that makes any sense. I don't feel that I want a girlfriend. Physically, I just want to be left alone. And for me to hide away, you know, in, in, in a corner. Away from people. But at the same time, I put on a persona where... I try to be happy for people, but in the inside, I'm crying deep down because of my anxiety. Because it's every fucking day, every single day of my life, every day, no matter if I was in California, Texas, or Ohio, every day I am filled with a puzzling, severe anxiety. I can't even go outside in my life. I can't go outside. I can't, I can't go outside and sit down for more than a couple minutes and enjoy the beautiful day. I can't. I tried. Physically, I tried a few days ago. That was when I was making my Verizon speed test videos. And I tried to sit down out there and just try to enjoy it. Then all these overwhelming thoughts came. And then I heard a big boom, which is kind of weird, but I actually heard a big boom. It was a sonic boom from an airplane. And then I heard gunfire because somebody was shooting. It, it was weird. It, it, was a, it was just a weird day. And so I just went back inside and went back to bed. My medicines that I take, an antidepressant, anti-anxiety medicine, I don't know if they're working anymore. And Ativan is not going to help me with my depression. It's going to help me with my anxiety, which thank God I even have it because it does help with the anxiety. Let me tell you something, guys. This is the problem I have. When I was a teenager, when I was a teenager, I had such bad anxiety that I would not leave the house. I would not go with my uncle to go on little trips. And the thing is though, the thing is, when I was a child, I had a lot of problems in the corner of people being pedophiles to me. I just want to keep it at that. Let's just say a pedophile. That doesn't help me at all. Therapy doesn't help me. It, it, I try it and it makes me worse. Because it brings out all the shit I want to hide. And truthfully, I'd rather hide it. Although it's not healthy. I've had bottled up anger. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to pass me, pass me, motherfucker. I've had bottled up anger to the point where I've snapped and hit objects. I've gotten to that point. I've gotten to the point where I used to be real physical with hitting shit. Now I just kind of cry if, if, if I get angry, I'll cry.